Hello everyone, I'm Jenna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't been here before, welcome. Um, we talk all things holistic health, energetics, um, the human body, health and wellness, uh, just like simple approach to lifestyle and things that you can take with you so that you can utilize them on your day-to-day -day basis. So if this is something you're interested in, like and share and subscribe it really helps the channel so today i wanted to talk about breath work because a lot of people um i think there's a lot of information out there and i think a lot of individuals get confused but i kind of just want to like break it down for you guys and give you some exercises to utilize on your own so when it comes to breath work a lot of us Actually, most people are mouth breathers, which is not optimal for our health. When we breathe through our mouth, this is more of a sympathetic response. So that fight or flight mode within our nervous system. And it's basically telling our bodies we're in danger. How can we get out of this situation? And then it pulls blood to your legs so that you can run. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. Um, so we also, when we mouth breathe, we use like our scalenes in our neck, um, which causes lots of tension. I know too many people that have neck pain, honestly, including myself. Um, so we need to kind of tweak how we breathe on a day-to-day -day basis. We're rewiring our nervous system. We're rewiring the way we breathe. So we want to become nose breathers. We want to breathe through our nostrils. So there's like a bunch of different research out there. Um, there's a bunch of different methodologies like Wim Hof breathing, which if you've tried that before, it might make you a little lightheaded if you're just starting out. Um, there is a specific type of breath work also that where you are breathing through your mouth, where it's guided, um, guided through um, with like an active meditation where you're breathing in through your mouth into your belly. Then you're breathing into your chest and then you let it go. And that actually does help move some stuff around and it does play a role, but you have to be with a specific, you know, individual who is like certified and knowledgeable and understands that breath work because um, some people who are like pregnant or who are on medications, like this can be a little bit taxing for them and it can make them like lightheaded and it can be too much. Um, so just for like daily breath work, um, I really like to start off with just focusing on nasal breathing and how we can do this is called pranayama breathing. So what I like to do is I like to put two fingers. So my index, um, I'm sorry, my pointer and my middle finger right on my third eye, my thumb is going to be on my right nostril. And then my index finger, my ring finger is going to be on the left nostril. So it's going to look like this. So I'm going to breathe in through my right nostril first. And then as I exhale, I'm going to close that right nostril and breathe out the left side. So you're going to do this. So you're alternating sides. I'll show you without the fingers. And why I like to put the fingers at the third eye, because if you are suffering from like headaches or migraines, it does help with that um, pituitary gland and activate that and notice. It helps to calm down um, your forehead and like whatever tension you have going on up there. So I really like the pranayama breathing. That's like one of my favorites and like beginner way to like help people learn how to nostril breathe. Um, there are other extremes where people will tape their mouth shut um, when they're going to sleep so that it helps them breathe through their nose. Um, 
if you're claustrophobic, maybe I wouldn't suggest that. Um, I've always been a nose breather, so I haven't had issues with that, but I know people that really do have issues with that. And I, I do know people that have taped their mouth shut before they go to sleep and it has helped them. Um, I don't suggest again, if you're claustrophobic, but just simple breathing, or even just putting your hand on your chest and hand on your belly and like really focusing, close your mouth and breathe in through the nose, into the belly, through the belly and exhale out of the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out of the mouth. Breathe in for a six count. And out for a six count. So with that, you know, you can play around with what you feel. I, I would start off maybe with the nostril breathing and closing off um, different nostrils so you can really see like what it's like to breathe in through your nose. Um, and basically breath work, what it does is it helps our pH levels in our body to become more neutral and balanced. Um, when we are constantly breathing in through our mouth, we're causing this cortisol spike and like adrenaline to like spike up, which poses issues on our adrenal glands and all this other physiological neurohormonal concoctions that that happen um, with that. So it helps to level that out. Now, when it comes to our blood and our bodies having higher acidity, it does pose an issue on our healing abilities and how healthy we actually are. So it's really important, obviously, to get foods in that are more neutral in pH. And you can test this out by getting testing strips um, and seeing what your pH level is um, through urine samples and doing that. So you can get testing samples pretty much anywhere, um, pharmacies, Amazon. So you can test it out like that to see where you're at. If you're too acidic, again, it's going to pose an issue on your health. But this is where the breathing comes in to, again, this is free, um, so that you can see, utilize the breathing to help neutralize the pH in your body. Again, this promotes healing. It helps with the parasympathetic rest and digest nervous system to help us calm down, bring our cortisol and adrenaline down, and increase our happy hormones which again, obviously is beneficial for our health. And also with that, better breathing helps us sleep better, obviously. So these are certain things that actually help our overall health because our breath is our literal, it's our life force. It's our energy. Like when we stop breathing, we're not living, <laughs> we're done. So um, it's very important to practice breath work. Um, if you're going through any type of anxiety or depression, or you're feeling overwhelmed, like this is where I take the breath work um, and I utilize it in my practice and with my clients and um, their practice. So very important. Um, I am having a class on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. It will be virtual. So the 26th of October, it's called Move, Meditate, and Breathe. And I'll be incorporating some low-level movements, meditation, and breath work to help bring up whatever you've been repressing in terms of your emotions or feelings, bring it up to the surface, move some energy around, and then really just transmute it and let it go through breath work. So you can actually like be aware of whatever is being held in your body and being able to let it go. So that is where the breath work comes in. Um, and there's a ton of books um, that you can, there's one literally called Breathe. Uh, I'm, I can't remember who the author is, but um, I have a bunch of books also that I recommend on my shop. Um, I'll link everything in the description box so you can check that out as well. There's a ton of modalities that can help you, um, like nasal breathing strips. Honestly, if you have issues with like your septum or anything, the nasal breathing strips helps too to like open up 
um, your, your nose when you're like running or like when you're exercising or something like that, or if you have a cold, <laughs> it helps in that nature too. So, um, I think that's about it. I hope this helps. I have a ton of classes coming up this week and next week. I'll put everything in the description box. Um, I've updated the website, which I'm super excited about. I've incorporated the shop. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope this helps. If you find that it resonates, share with others, like, share, subscribe, and until next time, bye.